Hey, what's up? This is Alex Brooks, and this is uh, day 11 in the COVID entrepreneur life. So uh, yesterday was Mother's Day. Uh, I hope all of you guys got a chance to enjoy Mother's Day and spend time with, you know, with family through a phone call or through some kind of video chat, you know, if you were trying to social distance. Um, now it's now it's off to the week. You know, Mondays, Mondays for me is always about trying to get things set up for the rest of the week. So I have my Monday morning meeting coming up in less than an hour. And usually I just uh, set down, oh, you know, uh, set down with my team and we go over what we did last week, what things we need to do this week, and what roadblocks are stopping us from getting things done. So that's usually the focus. Um, with this week, now that I have, you know, we brought on some more uh, clients, some more teammates, it's a little different where I'm going to probably have multiple meetings because I'll have a meeting with my marketing team and then I'll have a meeting with uh, the sales side to give feedback or uh, instructions or some, const you know, constructive criticism on what we can improve. So, drinking tea, I always try to drink tea in the morning. Uh, just to kind of warm me up and, and, and get myself into a flow as part of my ritual. Or part of my ritual is, um, sorry, part of my, my allergies are bugging me. Uh, part of my ritual is getting, you know, getting up in the first hour or so, meditating for like five to ten minutes, just so I can clear my head and get focused. Um, I think it's a good discipline that I've added on. It's almost, I've almost been doing it for two months straight, so that's really, I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, so this, yeah, this morning I'll be having meetings uh, with the team. Um, I will also be having some client meetings as well. We actually have a few new clients that I've been working with that we're just trying to get the ball rolling and getting things moving with them. And sometimes it can be difficult. What I've realized working with, with companies of all different industries, you know, s small and medium companies, sometimes it can be difficult to get uh, clients to do what they need to do initially uh, to, to, to get to make sure that you're tackling your main goals. And, and sometimes it's that they're busy, sometimes they forget, but the, the biggest thing that you don't want them to do is not do what, do their part and it affect you, your part. Because at the end of the day, when things don't go right, a lot of times, you know, clients will look towards the, the company that they're working with to point the blame. And you don't want that. You want to be able to get them results. You want to um, help them achieve whatever goal they want. So one of the areas that I am constantly trying to improve in is how do we get clients ramped up as quickly as possible and make sure that they do their part. And also just setting expectations of here's what to expect if you if you can get these things done and if you don't here's here's the end result of that as well so uh, that's something that I'm always trying to think through when I'm working with clients like what's the best way to get them ramped up what's the easiest way and we've created systems and we're constantly evaluating those systems and making sure that they're working and then finding new ways to improve those systems. Um, so I'm gonna be spending a, ch a chunk of my day focused on those things. Going back to the landing, not landing, but the summit that we have coming up. Uh, today I'm also going to be spending some time working, looking to find speakers. Uh, right now I have four speakers, which is, is off to a great start. I'm hoping to be able to get 10 to 15 speakers if I can. Uh, that would be ideal. And uh, right now we're set at two days, but if we can get a third day, I think it would be great. I think more, the more speakers we have, the more chances we have to spread the word, the more people we can get to come to this event. Um, so I'm going to be spending time looking for speakers in this evening. I did not get the landing page finished that I wanted to, but I know I have the structure in terms of where everything I want, uh, how I want the layout to look. So now it's just, working through the content piece and figuring out is this content strong and is it, is it capturing people's attention to make them to stop them in what they're doing and make them want to 
read further into the landing page and see if they're interested in this event. So that, I got a lot of things still to do with the landing page. And also we want to put together a video uh, that really just tells a story of what's happening right now with business owners and COVID-19 and what needs to happen with these business owners to be able to shift, make a shift to um, uh, really thriving online. Because that's where, at the end of the day, that's where a lot of businesses will need to go because things aren't gonna go back to normal uh, right away. It's gonna take some time. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, unfortunately for, fortunate, that's fortunate for people, you know, keeping us healthy and I'm happy with that. Uh, the businesses, on the other hand, uh, the ones that aren't prepared to deal with those type of changes are going to suffer. So that's if they don't find new ways to, to, to reach, you know, model their business. And part of that should be being online. So with that being said, <clears throat> it's going to be important for them to uh, figure out this online strategy and every part of that. Uh, online framework they need to have it working for them so they can execute and start and continue to get results or keep their store open and we've had some success with some of our clients that have at the last minute really wanted to be more aggressive online we've been able to help them figure out how to do that which I'm, I'm stoked about and I, uh, I think working with them what it made me realize is that they're not the only ones that are going through this type of struggle where they may have had a phys physical presence or depending on physical traffic and it's been halted. So they are forced to figure out how they're gonna survive and how they're gonna uh, make a change to online that will work for them. So that's part of the inspiration of why I wanted to put together this summit is because there's a shift happening. Uh, there's a shift with a lot of businesses and the businesses that don't focus on making the shift to really build their online community, they're going to struggle or just go out of business. And I really believe that is going to be uh, one of the biggest changes a lot of business owners are going to have to make in 2020. So I want to be, you know, a part of that change. I want to help businesses be able to transition. And that's why I'm doing this, this conference. And the date is actually going to be uh, June 17th and 18th. I'm, I'm, we may add the 19th on, but for now it's the 17th and 18th that is going to be uh, for this uh, uh, two to three day digital summit. So, but that's my day. That's what I have going on. I will see you guys tomorrow.